What's up guys, it's Phil, and it's time for another update. I've got some pretty cool built-ins to do. Um, now one of them is a closet that I'm converting um, and it is uh, essentially I'm making a desk and shelving to go in the closet and then I believe I'm doing uh, dual barn doors for the outside of the closet but I gotta double check with the client and make sure that that's still the plan. Um, in the meantime I have one kind of leftover project from last week and it's one of the ones that got not really left off my list but like I could not find a place to get it in um, and so now I'm just doing it because I, I just had two days where I was like sweet I can just knock this thing out so I'm doing a custom closet uh, which I'll be finishing up hopefully today maybe tomorrow uh, and then getting on this other desk built in which I think is gonna be pretty awesome so this desk is actually going to be pretty simple but I'm gonna be retrofitting the entire closet to be shelving down the sides which will be painted white a nice oak uh, veneered top for uh, this desk with with some oak going across the front of it and then like I said I believe I have barn doors they're gonna be closing it off uh, but I've got to double check on all that but I haven't even contacted the client because after last week I got sick but I haven't even contacted the client about that yet because uh, last week I ended up getting some bug that my daughter brought home and our whole family was sick for like two days so my schedule is gone I'm trying to get caught up once again and that's where we're at right now so it is 7.30 a.m. I'm going to go grab some coffee and get going so I can get on this job and uh, we'll see how it all goes.
you remember that time when I said I was going to keep my update shorter? Uh, this won't be one of those. So I am in mega crunch mode right now. Um, I went from having one project to finish and one project to start this week to I'm refinishing my closet project from last go around because uh, that thing did not get done. Uh, I, I, I apparently bought the wrong drawer slides and so now I have to go back and reinstall new drawer slides. Uh, then I am finishing up the desk with the customer added on barn doors, which is awesome. That's more profit for me. That's something they didn't give me a deposit for, so it's going to be just awesome money, and I can knock that out pretty quick. It's also a really cool challenge, so I'm trying to make a video on that barn door as well because I'm replacing her really badly built one with a really nicely built one, uh, but I don't have time to get around to that because... I'm working on a countertop. I had a client that I took a deposit from that wants a countertop done. She did not give me any heads up. I sat there radio silence for about two and a half weeks like, all right, when are we getting started? What are we doing? I need measurements. I need all this kind of stuff. And last Friday, uh, I finally got contacted like, hey, we're doing this. I want this color. I want this species. I want all that jazz. Uh, and it needs to be delivered by Friday. We've got a party going on Saturday. I spoke to the contractor and he said the same thing. Uh, the only problem is all the other people are rallying and getting their stuff done. So the cabinets are going in on Thursday. Everything else is getting done. And they're just waiting on my countertops to be ready hopefully at the same time. So now I've got to bust my butt to get this thing done, um, which also includes a cutout for a sink. So I'm, I'm a little nervous about the time frame on this, but it is what it is. Lastly, I know I'm not going to be getting started on that new project because if I'm lucky enough to get this thing installed while getting the other projects done, that'll be a win. Um, it might be some pretty good money because this project will be done and paid, that project will be done and paid, and the project with the barn doors will also hopefully be done and paid. Uh, but I didn't get paid anything last week. So I'm kind of at a loss as well because uh, currently project deposits versus money out of pocket is way off. So uh, financially, you know, it all businesses always do this. And if you're running your own woodworking business or any other business, you know how all that stuff goes. Uh, but I will tell you, it's a little stressful um, having so much money extended and so much money put out there for supplies and stuff uh, and having to pay myself and keep the lights on. Um, it's very negative until I get paid. And, and, and when you don't get paid on projects and they take a week longer or you need new supplies, uh, money gets real kind of crazy. So hopefully that'll all work out. We will see. But for now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on this guy. Oh man, lots of craziness. I've been out here since six o'clock this morning and I am still going um, and I will probably go late into the night tonight uh, and every night this week. But We'll see what happens. So I'm going to get back to it and keep going. myself here uh, because holy crap my week has gone to um, I was not expecting things to go this way I very much expected uh, this to be like go in and start on a desk and then she tacked on the barn doors which is great and then I've got another project to get started in the middle of last week plus I've got a bed swing to build I figured I'd just knock all that stuff out real quick uh, and now I'm going on the end of week two 
Uh, the desk is not done. My painter just got there today. I'm working on the barn doors, but I changed up the design in the middle of it. Instead of doing one big door, I'm doing two small doors and combining them. Uh, but I'm going to do it right as opposed to what's already been done there, which is very dangerous. I don't know if that's going to be in a separate project or this update or not. Um, that video is not turning out the way I want it to, and to be honest, I don't have the time to worry about it, so I may not actually end up making that video. But um, that barn door uh, needs to be done, and so I'm working on it currently. Um, and then on Friday, I get a call from another client who I'm doing a countertop for, and she finally gives me the color, finally picks the species, and wants it done Thursday. I can't do that. So that countertop I, that I showed you earlier, I'm just now trying to finish, and I'm rushing, rushing, rushing to get this thing done. Um, I'm kind of happy with it. There's a couple things that being a perfectionist I'm, I'm not okay with, but I'm going to try and fix and see if I can get those things taken care of. Uh, and then I've got another client that I keep having to go back and work on something uh, that is just, it's, it's not hard, it's not bad, and I want to make sure my clients are happy, but it takes a lot of time to keep making trips back when it's 25 minutes one way. Uh, I'm usually driving for longer than I'm actually there, and then there's still another problem and I've got to go back the next day and fix it. So, with all of that stuff going on and the fact that I haven't gotten paid on anything in two weeks, uh, I'm a little stressed. It's a little freaky. Um, the part, this part of the business is not fun. Uh, this part of the business sucks a lot, and having multiple projects going at once is not how I want to be. Uh, so I am going to literally just put my head down, truck through this, go finish that project, keep working on this one, get those barn doors done, get this cabinet installed tomorrow, cabinet, get this countertop installed tomorrow, uh, and just, I don't know. <laughs> so that's it, uh, rant over, I'm just, trying to get through it at this point. It is Friday. I am currently leaving a neighborhood full of castles. Uh, I am working on doing some furniture repair for a local moving company. I uh, just got that finished up and I am now headed to go install this bed swing. So I'm excited about this thing, uh, except uh, it's going to be the rest of my day because I just realized it's a two hour drive to Southern Tennessee on the Alabama border. Turn right onto Echo Lane. On the Alabama border to go install this bed swing. So 
Uh, I get to go do that, which would be kind of nice. Uh, uh, but that's a lot of driving. Uh, but I just realized it's going to be a two hour drive to get all the way down there. So that's going to be kind of fun. Um, I've got a lot of podcasts and just going to spend the rest of my day doing that, I guess. It's looking like it's going to storm on me. So I'm not super stoked on that, but I guess we will see what happens. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get going and I'm going to stop recording because I'm pulling out of the neighborhood and that's dangerous. Just like that guys, I'm going to call it done. Um, this week ended kind of strange, but I got all of my projects delivered and I got paid. I do not know what happened to the video of me installing the countertop. It turned out insanely beautiful, uh, but I don't know what happened to that. So if I find that footage, I'll put it on the next update, but for now, just trust me, it was pretty. Finishing out this week and getting all of those projects done for the first time in a long time, if you've been watching my updates, I actually got everything done by the time I thought I was going to have it done. And I'm actually on schedule right now, which is a first for me for a very long time. So I'm excited about that. I am really excited to have some money in the bank account finally, and I'm going to go inside and do nothing for the rest of the weekend. But anyway guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Check out a couple of the DIYs I've got coming up. Make sure to click on those Amazon links and find me on social media. Pretty much everything is at PMK Woodworking. You can also follow Yoshi. He is at Chillist underscore Shiba. If you want to see pictures of him sleeping on my job site. Uh, other than that, I don't know, like, share, do all the stuff you're supposed to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this has been interesting, and we'll see you next time. Bye!